Justice Jacobs here with Centaur Horsemanship. Uh, I thought this would be an interesting video. I know I usually don't post a lot of my client horses, but this is Titan. Uh, I'm going to put his first ride on today here. I thought I'd record it just in case. Uh, what is he? Nine year old Percheron. It's about 1830. This, probably, this is the biggest horse I've ever about to get on here. Uh, problems. There's some holes. He's been ridden. But there's some holes, bucked off his owner. Uh, you know, he's a big horse, he's pretty intimidating. So right now he's just here to fill these holes and come safe horse. Uh, they say that he was just kind of pushed a little too fast. He's just really unconfident. And you know, I take things to him and he'll do it, but it's not like, I got it. It's like, okay, I'll, I'll, let, you, I'll let you do it, but it's not where I need to be. He needs a whole lot more confidence, confidence under saddle. I got a whole bunch of junk out here. Well, let's see what he's about when I get the movie. Can I help you? Thank you. So, all right, let's get to it, right? And this is going to be the hard part because when I ask him to go off, I don't want him tripping over this because I'm not going to let him walk off straight. I'm going to treat him as if he's a colt and he's never been ridden before. Always gonna cock this head. Can you imagine this thing bucking on you? <laughs> we don't want it to happen. Yeah. And you don't don't want and what will are a couple different things there. Yeah, right, boy. Like his head kind of coming up right there. I don't really like that. Because yeah, he flexes and all that, like on the ground. He just picked up his back, I'm not gonna lie. My asshole got about like that tight for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! This feels, this feels different. <laughs> All right. Jeez, boy. All right, we're good. I know he's going to clip this fucking bucket. Oh, he walked off a little straighter than I want him to, so... All I'm gonna do, this is how I keep my horse confident. Please don't hit that. I just want to walk him in a circle. Right there. Man, it's tight. Like he flexes good on the ground, but under saddle, it. Ooh, look at him pick up them shoulders. <laughs> I'll make a cow horse out of you. You know, I'm gonna reward that. Let me pick your set up here. That's actually pretty light. That was pretty light. There's times you'll feel him push on you. Which he needs to know that, hey, trust my hand. Trust my hand. Let me just sit there for a second. All right. You can't get any closer to me because you'll be out of the picture. All right, here we go. Right eye. Sometimes where your horse starts flipping out a little bit. You know, you handle them so much on the left. Let me do this here. Ooh, you felt that. There we go. Okay, you're just going to rope off the boy. Give him his head a little bit. All right, this is the change I'm talking about. You, you might not see it, but I can feel it. Let me, let me sit, here, sit here for a minute. Look at me in his eye. You're fine. Stick that back foot too. This is where I'm starting. This is why on my first rides, I don't walk trot canter on my first rides anymore. I just keep him at a walk. Let him get used to me being up here. Give him some confidence. I can feel the tenseness right here. There it is. That's that right eye a little bit. Yeah, that's six, seven feet. Keep that head cocked up. This is a get in, get out kind of process. There's no rule in the rule book says I can't get out on him four more times a day. Get on for like four minutes a piece, just walk around a little bit, get off, throw him back. That right there. Don't break on me. Get comfortable right here. And you know, this, this I'm not saying he's a dangerous horse. But him doing like a little flight thing, because he's so damn big, it has, has some pretty bad consequences. So right here, I'm just asking him to move forward. Get used to me moving you forward. Let's get forward momentum this first ride. That's all it is. Get comfortable with me being up here and be comfortable moving out. Look, I'm not gonna run you. I'm not gonna try shit cool. There you go, get soft, boy. Just me being up here. Look, it should be light work. Then over time, I'll teach you how to take a good workload. Put my legs on you a little bit. 
I do want to get, because I, I feel like, because, you know, he has ridden before, I could easily go out here and steer him, but I really don't want to. I want to keep him in this nice, tight, tight circle. Ooh, your shoulder's pretty decent. Or you're just covering a shit ton of ground. Alright, drop him up here. Mm -hmm. Here's what I need him to do. I need, this, that's my emergency brake right there. Because when I pick that head up like that, I'm going to let him keep his head out down here. It's okay. You mean both eyes. That just scared the shit out of me. He just twitched. <laughs> it's a fly. It's a fly. I know, I know. I'm just, I'm being a pansy. Right there, I put my leg on too. He goes off that pretty decent. There you go. Like these small little circles, I don't care. Just move forward, all right? We'll, we'll fix where you go. And then we'll start using the pen to go around and stuff. Do you want to move over there some? Like I I, all I get is horse. I mean, the the... I'm not getting much of anything else. See how I'm walking about straight here? This is not what I want to do. I want to keep them on an angle. Keep them on an angle. Like I said, this, this should be boring to watch, if I'm being honest. All right. I'm actually going to see if I can get him to walk out straight. He doesn't want to walk over there by that gate. There you go. Look at him chewing good. All right, I'm about to get off here. Cock back his head the other way. See how he doesn't want to walk that way. All right, pushing, pushing a little bit here. You don't want to walk. I can feel that braciness there. Okay, though, you walk forward. Mm -hmm. All right, this is the hard part here. It's how to get down. I'm gonna teach you how to lay down and pick me up and let me get back down. Touch him on his butt. Good, good, good. I usually get these really small horses in. And I said I need a bigger horse. And I didn't mean this damn big. All right, let's see how to get the hell off. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> All right, that was interesting, wasn't it? Maybe um, slide off his back end next time. That hurt jumping off on the ground just to do that. All right, buddy. That wasn't too bad. Felt something, but it ain't too bad. Alright, that's good.